The default cursor on Roblox looks pretty bland. What if I told you, you could have your own personal custom cursor for free, and not only does it make the cursor look way better, but it also looks super smooth in game. Today I'm going to show you all the steps to do this, so make sure to like and subscribe, and without further ado, let's begin. So the first thing you need to do is actually just test if your Roblox is currently on the latest version. This means it won't uninstall stuff and everything when you try to do this. So just go to any game, click play, and it'll say Roblox is now loading and stuff. So basically, if it isn't updated when it loads up with the thing, when it loads up with this, it would just say updating Roblox, but it says connecting to it. And if it does say updating Roblox, then that's good because that means it's going to update and then you can do this. Here you see, you can just load in. It's all perfectly fine, uh, so if you can load into games, then just make sure you can and it will be good. The next step that we need is when you go to your desktop, so click the Windows button and it will come up with this menu if you're on Windows 11 or a different kind of menu if you're on Windows 10. It will be basically the same thing, you search for Roblox and when you get to the Roblox player, you have to click open file location and it will basically just open here. So this will be your Roblox folder where this is. Now, what you need to do is you need to right click and I've got this menu, but it should be around the same looking for the Windows 11 actual menu. You have to click open file location. So now once you get into this, basically what you need to do is you need to go to the content tab. So ignore everything else then there might be. You need to go to content, then you need to go to textures and you need to scroll down to cursors. It's actually right here, so cursors. Now there's a few different types of cursors as these. There's some gamepad ones. The only ones we need to worry about are these ones, the arrow cursor and the arrow file cursor. So this is the fun part. This is where we get to choose how our cursor looks. So you'll go to the link in the description and it'll just look like this. So it's the skin generator for Osu. Don't worry, it will still work. So we click get started and you'll see all these different things. You might not know what all this means, but basically what you need to do is you just need to go to cursor. When you go to cursor, you'll see so many different cursors. Um, you know, there's all these and this is just page one. You can go to page two, even more cursors. I mean, there's, there's just so many different types of cursors and the star one here. So whatever you would like, you can choose. Now for me, I'm just going to go for this one. It's pretty simple. So you don't click on it. What you need to do is you need to right click. You need to click save image as and then just save it wherever you need on your computer okay so the next step is also kind of simple but you need to so understand it so basically you go to this link in the description it says advanced don't worry it's it's gonna be fine so what you need to do is you need to click this create new button and basically you'll see this it will just be untitled you see all this you don't have to worry about any of this just go to the whip and height over here set the whip to 60 and the height to 60. okay so it'll open an image like this when you click the create new button and Basically, you will just have this square. So what you need to do, you need to go to your file explorer and it will still be on this folder. Don't close it yet. If you have, you can just follow the other steps. But basically, you want to create a new file explorer window. So right click on your file explorer and just click the button that says file explorer. And this will open two of them. And then what we need to do, we just need to select this 29 firm small, whatever it's called. We just need to drag it in and click add to current now this is how it looks and if we actually go to the other file explorer with these cursors we can drag the arrow file cursor in and you can see how it looks now you might notice that this cursor is quite big compared to this and you could have it like that but no it needs to be in the middle as well make sure it's centered so we need to scale it down just a bit to the size you think is all right and then you're just gonna put it right there make sure it's centered and there we go it looks good so you need to delete this so you just select it and click the delete button and we just have this here now you need to go up to the corner click file save and just save the image transparent save as and make sure you did save as a png because if you didn't then it's not gonna work all right so we're just gonna have two folders now we have this still and we're gonna have this so what you need to do is you're gonna need to rename this stuff to this just duplicate one of these by doing Control c Control v just duplicate it like that so we're gonna name one of them arrow cursor.png make sure you get the exact name if you don't see the .png it's fine so arrow cursor and then the other one we're going to name arrow file cursor now you need to select these and you need to delete them and finally we just select these two and we're going to drag them over into this folder just like this now we can close all of this stuff and we can go into roblox and now i've joined into the game you know it's all loading up and i actually have the cursor we can see it right here and it makes the game honestly look a lot smoother than the normal cursor, I think. See, I can spin it around, do everything with a normal cursor, click on things. It works perfectly, it makes it feel a lot smoother. 
and it's really pretty cool so if you did enjoy this video make sure to subscribe and also if you watched all the way to the end then just comment down below uh apple it'd be pretty funny to confuse everybody anyway thanks for watching goodbye